Welcome to Fresh Fridays. I'm Pastor Tony, and today we'll be looking at a fresh idea that you can use in your kids' ministry. Today we're going to be talking about changing diapers in the nursery. Whoo, that's something that needs a fresh idea. So let me give you a scenario. Mom gets up in the morning. It's Sunday. She's trying to hurry up and get ready before all the kids wake up. Sure enough, the baby wakes up. You got to feed the baby. You got to burp the baby. You got to change the baby. Then you got to get the rest of the babies in the family ready. Okay, get everybody in the car. You get to church. You're a few minutes late, but whew, you made it. Drop the kids off. You go sit. You enjoy yourself for an hour, maybe an hour and a half as the pastor preaches. The worship's great. Then you go pick up your child. All of a sudden, it's a mad rush to the restaurant. You get there. You order your food, and you suddenly realize realize oh, the baby needs change again. Maybe you realize it because they blew out their outfit. It's wet or it's dirty. And now you've got a whole mess you've got to clean up and it ruined your afternoon. Well, you know what? As a kid's ministry, it should be part of our responsibility to help ensure not only for the sake of the sanity of that parent, but also that, that for that child to make sure we are cleaning them properly or changing their diapers. So we're going to take a few minutes and we're going to talk about what that means, what that looks like, and how to create a safe environment while you change diapers. So I get my babies as they're being checked in, and it doesn't matter how old they are, if they've got a diaper up to age two, I'm going to change their diaper every service. As we check the kids in, I make a list. doesn't matter whether I have three or 30 kids. I make a list. Make a list. Check it twice. Okay, I want to make sure that every child gets their diaper changed, and the best way to do that is to check them off the list. So I have an area designated for changing diapers. You might have a really nice, fancy, pottery barn style changing table, or you might be more mobile where you have just a, a folding table with a pad on it. If that's the case, make sure your pad is secured. Last thing you need is a one-year-old getting all squirmy and working themselves off of the table. So we have a secure, safe spot for our babies where we can change them. We want to make sure it's sanitary, so wipe the whole place down. In fact, I encourage you to do this. Spend a little extra money and get some wax paper. Put wax paper down on that pad just so it makes it easy to clean up after and between each child. Now, you can either buy the rolls and tear it ahead of time, or I like to go to a food product place uh, where you can get the wax paper in the 12 or 16-inch pieces. I can pull them out, slap them down, they're ready to go. So I wash my hands, preferably if I can put non-latex gloves on, it helps, but I want to make sure I'm being sanitary. I get that child, that baby, it's time to change their diapers. I want to use their diaper and their wipes. You know, there's a whole bunch of different brands out there of everything, and different children fit differently in different diapers. Even if you have a budget and a whole stash of diapers and wipes at your church, use what the parents bring. So I put their diaper out. I get their wipes because maybe their child's allergic to other wipes. I want to use what the parents brought. I lay the baby down. I then change the diaper. Now, who's going to be doing this diaper changing? First off, it won't be me. Why? Because I'm a guy. You see, in our ministry, we've always had our ladies change diapers. I don't allow men to be in personal contact where there's private parts involved. And so I have a lady who's there changing that diaper, a responsible person. And if you've got students to help in there, I just ask they're 16 or older. I want to make sure they're responsible, they're caring, taking care of it. In the same way, I love teaching young ladies how to do those kind of things. We live in a society now where a lot of young moms don't even know how to change diapers. They learn the hard way by having to change the messy diaper of their first kid. Give them a chance beforehand in the nursery to learn how to do this. Have veterans teach the young ones. I know by my third child, I was a whole lot better at changing diapers. So give people that opportunity. So it's time to change the diaper. We lay the baby down. We've got our gloves on. The wax paper's laid there. We've got the baby's diaper and the wiping. We make sure the entire time we keep a hand on the baby. We don't want the baby screaming all over the place, or maybe you can strap it in place. We want to keep them safe and not falling off that edge. Then we go ahead and we change the baby. We get rid of the dirty diaper. As we go to put a new diaper on, it's just a little note I want to mention. You see, in my kids' ministry, I have never allowed volunteers or staff to hand out any kind of over-the-counter or prescription drug to kids. That's the parent's responsibility. That also includes, though, diaper rash ointment. And so even if that baby has a really bad diaper rash, I'm not going to apply ointment to it. I can have the parent come do it, or I'll let the parent know, hey, just so you're aware, we did not apply. You may want to do so afterwards, but we're not going to put any kind of medication on this baby. So we put the new diaper on the baby. We get them all um, attached, put back together, cleaned up. We set them down. Whew, we're done. 
Well, not really. We got to clean up the mess. So we take that wax paper, we throw it away. Uh, what do we do with the diaper? I would strongly encourage investing in some sort of baggies that got a zip top on them. Okay, you can put the diaper in there, zip it up, drop it away, and it gets rid of the nasty smell in your nursery that just seems to linger all day. Okay, Ziploc bags are great. Drop them in the garbage can. Um, I get rid of my rubber gloves, wash my hands thoroughly. Ah, we've done it. Next, time to go on to the next baby. So we've created that safe environment. We're changing diapers. We're providing clean kids back to their parents. But we can also take this opportunity to speak hope into that child's life. And you see, that's one of our core values here at Fresh Ministries is speaking hope into kids. Well, well, they're only six months old. They're only a year and a half old. But you can still speak the word of God to their spirit, to their inside. And so as you're changing that baby, pray over them. Speak blessings over them. Quote scripture over them. Sing songs to them about Jesus' love for them. Remind them that they've got a call on their life. What a great time for you to be able to personally minister to that baby in that situation. In fact, in one of the churches I was at, we had an overhead counter right above the changing station. And we put a picture of Jesus up underneath there. So as the baby laid there, they could look up and they could see Jesus. And I had this one volunteer. She was great. She would say, just so you remember, Jesus will clean up all of your yucky messes. Yeah, pun intended. It was kind of fun in there. But make sure you're speaking hope in that situation. Okay, I get down with the diapers. A lot of times, we have different churches, different policies, but we would put a smiley face or maybe the time that we change that diaper. So when the parent picks up their child, they know when the diaper was changed and every parent knows when I drop kids off at your kids ministry at my kids ministry that my kids come back clean okay they've been refreshed and I'm gonna have extra time before I have to worry about changing their diaper next first comes the natural then the supernatural take time this week start a new policy start a new process invest in your kids by making sure their diaper gets changed and then add the fresh twist of speaking hope in their life during that time Hey, this is Pastor Tony reminding you to keep your kids' ministry fresh.